Today I'm taking a look at the inflator. So interesting design. Looks like we got a lot of inlet holes on the front as well as on the back. We got a USB-A port there on the back, USB-C port on the front, nothing on the bottom. We got a threaded port for our air hose, and we got what looks like a light. On the front we got power mode, plus and minus. We got our charging cable, it's USB-A to USB-C. Got some extra nozzles, so if you want to fill a basketball, some inflatables, or a Presta nozzle, you got a carrying pouch. And we've got our hose, this thread's on on one side, looks like it's got a rubber gasket to make sure it's got a good seal, and this is a locking style. So, thread that guy on. And I like to see this is a nice braided hose. So it looks like this is the right side, this is where the display is. So right now it is on bar, it is on vehicle. If we hit M for mode, we can change that to motorcycle, bicycle, and that goes to PSI, and basketball. Now if I press and hold mode, then that will turn on our light. Press and hold again. We got a flash. Looks like that's SOS. And press and hold again, I will shut it off. So if I want this to be on a bicycle, before he seems a little high for mine, that's cool. So you can actually go down to the tenth of a PSI. I want to hit 30. There we go. And if we have power. That starts the compressor. So I got the included cable plugged into my phone, and I'm going to plug that into the USB-A port and the compressor. And that does charge the phone, so that means we can actually use this just as a power bank. Okay, so it's currently reading it at 22.8 PSI. Cool. And it does stop on its own. That's excellent, so that means I don't have to babysit it. If I just compare this to a bottle of water, this thing is super tiny. For the kind of power that that thing has, if I just need to carry this in a backpack so I make sure I got some portable air with me, this is going to be an excellent tool for that. So overall, I am happy with that.